Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. And as you can tell by the name and the title, I'm sorry. As you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we are reviewing some newish and old products from my Shop My Stash collection. Went up and down throughout this whole video. So if you're interested in watching this makeup look as well as like review, then just keep watching but before we go any further i would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification turn your post notification to all so you won't miss another video from me and comment down hey girl down below okay now let go all right y'all so let's go ahead and get to plan and all of this stuff like i told y'all at the beginning it's gonna be some things that are new and old only to my collection and maybe some new products that I recently picked up. I am gonna start off with the Prime and Glow Mist and y'all gonna see me doing a video and doing a short. So we're gonna spray our face. Oh wait. Now this is new to me. Ooh, the mister. Mister is pretty hard. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Like I said, I think I spoke of this before. I can't remember if I like this or not. So that's why it's in my drawer of use. Oh, maybe I put too much. Starting out pretty horrible here. Maybe you only just need a little bit. So I'm going to move into the Benefit Brow Styler. This one is in the shade 5. I did do my brows yesterday. Well, in a last video from Henna Tint. And I've been kind of rubbing them off so that I could do another color. Letting them go out. This do kind of feel good. They're kind of fading a little bit but I'm just gonna color over it just to make the just to make the brows more defined and more popping so now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and butterscotch yeah just to clean up my brows a little bit. Now I am going to set my brows with the Merit Brow 1980. It's in the shade Black Brown. You guys, I did used to have a code for Merit. I don't know if it still works, but if it does, I will still link it down below for you guys to get some money off. Beautiful minimalistic packaging. Oh, this is the minimum, minimalist makeup so I'm just setting my brows with it hey babe what's wrong what are you doing what are you doing what are you ow why are you get okay you gotta be all extra I thought you had let the, like, let everybody pull up. Oh, uh, no. Nah. I'm just say, damn. As soon as I get in the car, sit down. You know my video got sound in, oh. right? <laughs> Anyways, 
All right, y'all, so this is what we're looking like so far. So I do believe I want to, we're gonna be using the ABH Norvina palette. God, can y'all believe I have yet to use this and I bought this when it first came out and I haven't used it. Don't know what's wrong with your girl. I don't know. So I'm thinking either a gold eye or a yellow eye. And I'm only saying that because of the colors I'm wearing. So uh, I don't know. It really don't have too many colors you could dip off into as transitional shades. But you guys know I love to play around in colors. If you don't know, if you're new here, if you don't remember, I love to play around in colors. So I really want to use some of these colors. I'm going to start off with a little bit of the C3, which is right here. Ooh, it's pigmented. Let's see how pigmented. Oh, that's a bit pigmented okay so I'm just gonna give me something here because I don't need it to be too dark I'm gonna take my wet and wild walking on eggshells so I'm gonna take this lightest brown right here and I'm gonna go on top of this darker shade. Right above it. Trying to lighten up that shade at the top because I don't want it to look like a bruised eye. So I think I'm gonna take my P. Louise. Do people still use P. Louise, you guys? I do the acid rain and blank canvas. I'm gonna cut my crease just a tad bit, not a lot. And I'm using the same brush that I used when I carved out my brows. Yeah, that's almost the best way to do a cut crease. Right where it stops is normally where your eye creases. The next color I'm going to take told you I had a little fallout. I'm going to take a little bit of E5 right here. And I'm going to put it more so on the end right here. So that I could give the black something to fade into. And all of these colors are given purple undertone, honestly. And with the same brush, we're going to dip into D5 which is the black, which you see how much? So we're just gonna plop it in right at the edge of our eye. Cause I wanna give it some depth, but I don't want it to be like a black muddy eye. Now I am gonna go in with another flat brush and I believe I'm gonna go in with D1. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do D1. Let's get the gel liner. We're gonna use the e.l.f. black gel liner. And we're just going to give ourselves, I kind of want to do a kind of a thick wing. Let's just do a wing and see how it turns out because most of the time my wings come out messed up. Sometimes, sometimes I go too small and then sometimes it grows and grows and grows. Alright, so we're looking good so far. I'm going to dust anything I see. Now, I do want to try out this new Milani Glow Foundation. And this is in 410 Deep. Oh, 
y'all before i even do that i have to show y'all the care bear wet and wild makeup sponge it says it changes colors now this is limited edition and it is pretty old i didn't do my review on it on the collection and i just wanted it because it's care bears but i gotta go wash it i gotta go get it wet oh it does change colors you guys look it's purple and it's blue so i am gonna do use this foundation i have yet to try it i think i have purchased it in hopes of doing a foundation review so and i didn't get to it so i'm just gonna use it on camera right now and we're gonna see together how it looks it's a bit watery so far Ooh. it closed at 11. yeah it's a bit watery and it looks like it's gonna be too dark Looks like it's gonna be dark. So let's just go for it. I don't know how much or how little to use, honestly. Sheer to light coverage, melts into skin for a naturally glowy, dewy, glowy look. So, yeah. This is not gonna be like super full coverage like i like it but am i a fan of it uh -uh. no because i could still see everything so i am gonna use this covergirl clean fresh hydrating concealer it makes sense to use that with this type of foundation it is in the color rich this is gonna make a lot of sense but on a regular smegular day, I would literally go in with a full coverage or at least a medium to full because that's just my preference and my liking. So I'm not expecting a lot of coverage out of this neither considering it says clean and fresh. The only thing I can say about this sponge is it's a, because it's like a, teardrop or a what's the chinese chinese food like it's almost like a dumpling shape i'm gonna call it a teardrop shape you really can't get in the spots that you want yeah i'm not too much of a fan of this concealer neither it is seriously sheer if you all would like for me to do like reviews on popular slash new products, I would do it for you guys. But if it was up to me for my preference for my use, I would not buy this concealer nor foundation. Like as I'm blending, it almost looks like it's picking right back up. Give no coverage whatsoever. So we may change the name of this video because yeah no this is not going like how i wanted it to go or how i expected it to go i am gonna go in with the wet and wild banana setting powder this is a loose powder and i have yet to use it i think i had one of these before honestly I think this sponge is only good for like show and tell, not actual use because the teardrop top is too fat to get into those areas that you, you're needing to get into. I am going to try out this e.l.f. camo powder in 540 deep let's hope this is gonna give our face the coverage that i'm dyingly 
missing. Like, oh, she's a bit red too. Goodness, girl, everything was just a little dark. O M G y'all. Okay, so it is giving more coverage than the foundation, but she's burnt. Like, and I like burnt color uh, skin tone. I love a burnt skin tone, but this is like it's almost coming off really reddish. But what do you expect on its camo? Camo is really really good I am gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs mascara really quick I am gonna go on my waterline with the LA girl glide on in the color champagne I, I really feel like this makeup look is becoming a bust so I was like yeah let me take a break let me eat and let's just finish the video <laughs> Like, I literally even stopped my short because it's just, this is just not given. So, even though I set my face, I do still want to use the Merit, what is it called? Bronze Balm and Monarch. Look at how deep this is, you guys. I do still want to use it even though I set my face. I haven't bronzed yet, but this is a cream. But we're going to do it anyway. Since everything else is looking quite different, it is creamy. And I thought it was going to be even darker than this. But it's actually pretty good color. Oh, it blends out good. You seen that? That did good. Oh, I'm going to have to start using that in my routine. Mary did send me these products in PR before I took my YouTube break. So I want to thank Mary for even sending it over to me. If Mary would like to send me more products, trust and believe, I am back back now. So I will keep showing their products. Oh, I like that. Okay. So that kind of made me happy. I am going to move over to this Saharan by Juvia's Place. This is the volume one. And it is the blush palette. Now, because my eyes are so popping, I think I'm just going to use Neo. I was going to use Abby, but Abby looks too dark right now. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Neo like to where you can't really even see it you see what i mean because i don't want that the net's gonna be too much with the eye color i really like this bronze this bronze ball it is really good the lashes that i am gonna wear though are these mac lashes and they are in the style siren and this is my first pair of lashes. I did get these in like a boxy charm, I believe. And I never wore them. So we're gonna put them on today and see what they looking like, girl. All right. So lastly, we're gonna do the lips. And just a little bit of highlight, okay? I don't even want a lot of highlight because I honestly feel like this look can stand on its own you know what I mean so I am going to use this absolute New York waterproof lip liner in the shade hot cocoa mm, I wish it was darker Y'all, why does this video have to be such a bust? It's darker on my hand than it is on my lips. There you go. We're going to move on to the next butter, butter gloss and fortune cookie. I'm going to put some of this on. 
but I am going to top a little bit of the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Topaz. I'm just going to put a little bit on my lips to kind of, yeah, take the, the pinky color out some. So there you have it, you guys. Uh, this was a bust, okay? This was a bust, but I want to show you guys the good the bad ugly and the pretty of me doing my makeup and reviewing products for you guys so hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one deuces